All right, guys, we'll start with senior left-hander Jeff Barnfeld. Jeb, hi. Hey, how you, you doing? Look a little different. A little bit? A little bit. Better? What is it? <laughs> um, Your haircut? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think I uh, found a good barber down here finally. It took me, it took me about a year, but I found a good one. So, how are you feeling? I know the last time we saw you, it wasn't so happy. Yeah, no, last time I was here, uh, probably didn't look as good. Um, I feel a lot better, though. I mean, as a, you know, as a, a player and as a teammate, just to be on this team, it's, a, it's just a different mindset. You know, it's a different mentality. You know, we certainly haven't forgot about that. Um, but at the same time, it's it's fueled us throughout the fall. It's fueled us throughout our workouts. At 6 a.m., it's a lot easier to wake up this year knowing that, you know, if you don't get it done, that's what it feels like, you know. And it's, I'm not going to say it's it was a good thing, but for us, we treat it as a wake-up call, you know. Just uh, something that just kind of fueled the fire for us. Generally, uh, how do you view this this new 2018 team? If you had to uh, tell the layman why this team is special, if it is dynamic, it's just it, there's a lot of different new pieces, and uh, it's mixed in with with some older guys, you know, that um, have have been through ups and downs. Um, but we have a lot of new freshmen in. We have a lot of new exciting, uh, powerful bats in. We have a lot of speed this year too. I just feel like our team is a type of team that can beat you in a number of different ways. Um, you know, obviously we have to take care of ourselves and work, worry on what we can do. But if we do, you know, possess our full potential, there's a handful of different ways that I feel like our team can beat any other team in the country. Why isn't there any uh, trepidation of playing so many young guys? Again? What have you seen out of those guys? Their, their work ethic really is what, what you know, impressed me. I was here in the summer and you know they came here and they started working out and you know they work hard as they work as hard as anyone else is here. You know, and they're here, they're gym rats, they're here early, they leave late. Um, those are things that you can't coach. Those are things that you possess yourself and you find that in yourself to do. And a lot of our young guys have that and I think really it's on them. They know that you know, the torch is being passed to them this year. You know, and, and they've taken that upon themselves and worked really hard. Does the talent uh, jump out of you right away? It does. I mean, you know, I, it took us a couple months before we got to practice, but even in the cages or in the BP, I mean, those, those balls are coming off the bats pretty hard. So, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of exciting new new things to come this year. Cool. Have you guys Thank got you, a number of, number of pitchers that Thank started you. games last year? Yeah. Obviously, some guys Thank coming you. in uh, looking to jump in that rotation. Your thoughts on the rotation and, and the competitiveness we expect to see from you guys? It's been the most <laughs> grueling fall that I've been a part of just because there is so much competition. You know, there's five or six guys that can be one or twos on different staffs throughout the country. And I think that's something that we've used to our benefit. Um, I think that throughout the fall, all we've done is compete against each other, and that's only made us better. Um, and like you said, I mean, if, if one guy goes down, the next guy can step up, and I think that's you know that's one of our biggest strengths this year is that we have we have a lot of depth in in the pitching area, and a lot of talented arms that you know, are going to be helpful in times like the ACC tournament or deep in the in the postseason. Um, should we, you know if we get to that point, instead of you know sending out a guy that's you know maybe not the best arm, we have another guy. You know we have another you know top notch arm that. Um, other other teams definitely aren't going to want to see. And, and with that, maybe how it affected you, how it's affected you personally. You know, I know we you know, obviously what you did last year. We also saw what Jesse and Michael did mm -hmm. the year before, and then not have the season right. that they would have liked last year. Uh, maybe what were some things that you've concentrated on, or maybe how much of those other guys pushed you to, to have another good season? No, definitely. I mean, Chris McMahon's 18 years old, but I mean, he's pushed me harder than any other any other guy that I've played with. You know. And, Talking back to to the same thing is you know, iron sharpens iron just as one man sharpens another, and you know that's what these young guys have done. That's what you know Evan McKendry, Greg Belize, all these other talented arms have done. Um, you know I don't want to put pressure on myself to do what I did last year. I want to be I want to be a guy that you know can be a leader in the clubhouse and on the field. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to be trying to be better than what I did last year, um, but at the same time, you know with these young guys. And it takes a lot of pressure off of anybody. You know, I'll be just as happy if, if Chris McMahon goes out there and wins 12 games this year and has one ERA as if I was out there doing it. And you know, that's been the biggest concentration for me is just try and be um, someone that you know 
the young guys can look up to, the young guys can, can count on for advice or anything like that. And, um, you know, I think that as a team, we've gotten really strong. So, Jeff, when you first got you had the cutter, and obviously you talked about throughout the season how much that helped you. Anything that you've added or did differently in the fall or worked on in the offseason to maybe help you after your second year? We just really worked on command. More command, because I mean, the, the best thing you can do is throw a, a spotted fastball. You know, it doesn't matter if it's 84 miles an hour or 94. Um, it's likely going to get guys out, and you know that's just the biggest thing that, that I've worked on this fall is uh, command and, and mound presence, and just being explosive and, and getting getting better from where I, from where from where I left off last year. Um, you know, JD's been working with me, and it's, it's been it's been a good fall, and, and hopefully going to be a better spring. You mentioned McMahon a couple of times. What does he do real well? You know, from what you've seen, how good can he be? Uh, McMahon's a bulldog. I mean, the game looks easy to him. I mean, he's got an electric arm with, with dynamic secondary stuff. I mean, he's 94, 95 uh, on a good day, and it's about the easiest 94, 95 I've ever seen. Um, he just goes out there and it looks like you're not you're not going to get hit off it. You know, and it's, it's fun to watch. You know, I'm excited to see him work for this year. Thank you.